The issue of paper in hospitals has been a problem for many, many years. We've just grown and grown the paper that we use. And if you look at uh, an average hospital, and I think we're probably an average hospital, we have something like 60, 80, 680,000 case notes. Uh, we have, we've counted it because we've now scan, scanned the documents and we had 195 million sheets of paper in storage. And is there any wonder why clinicians have struggled to actually find their way through this morass of paper in the last decade? So we thought it was really important, both in terms of efficiency and productivity, but also from the perspective of patient safety and the quality of the patient experience. So it was a priority for us and I'm really pleased that we're there. Um, but the board spent a lot of time focusing on the risk. There was clearly the risk to productivity in the short term because new systems take a lot of getting used to. We actually introduced a new PaaS system and anybody who's done that uh, in their working lives will know there is a risk about data collection, about loss of data and all the business contracting risks that are associated with that. Um, I won't say that we mitigated every single risk but it was certainly at the fore, uh, forefront of our minds. The primary example in the recent past has been the um, removal of pa paper records for patients. Um, we have uh, hundreds of thousands or had hundreds of thousands of pap paper records and they are very complex and difficult to use. So by um, putting those into an electronic system and designing a bespoke electronic document management system that was very easy to use for consultants, we've really streamlined the consultant's access to patient information. Uh, that's one of the prime uh, areas, but we've also streamlined the logistics process so we no longer have to physically pull or retrieve patient records and Aintree was pulling uh, 1,200 records a day, which is a huge amount of resource um, putting into manually getting hold of these uh, records. It can now be done at the press of a mouse and that again has really streamlined the process. On top of that, we no longer use patient record, lose patient records. Very easy for those to be left on the back seat of a car, shouldn't, be ha shouldn't happen but it has happened. Very easy to misfile those, those records and certainly we were disadvantaging patients who would turn up for an outpatient appointment and their medical record was not available. And that introduces a huge amount of risk for the patient themselves because the consultant doesn't have access to their records but also to the consultant because he or she is making decisions in isolation and this has been a source of huge frustration for our clinical staff for many many years. The technological challenges were relatively easy. Uh, the biggest one was the change management process and it is about recognising that clinicians have worked in a certain way for years and decades in fact and changing that overnight to a very different way of doing things when not everybody is confident with e-technology. You know, if you take me, it took me several months to become confident in using my iPad and my iPhone and that's easy compared to using uh, electronic to technology and information to drive a clinical interaction with your patient. So it was changing the mindset of clinicians, giving them confidence that this was there, giving them uh, knowledge that actually this was going to be better for patients in the longer term. So that was the big challenge. In terms of the paper office itself, we uh, will be generating £2 million a year recurrently from getting rid of that old manual physical paper, paper record. Uh, the flip side of that is that it does mean we have reduced jobs in this area, uh, but we've managed to redeploy the vast majority of the 50 plus uh, medical records clerks into different areas in the hospital. So the personal cost on individuals has been minimised but that's where most of the money's come out of plus reductions in savings of the storage of site plus reductions in savings of logistics transport to get the medical notes between various departments so considerable revenue uh, recurrent savings in addition we've been able to reduce the uh, amount of storage space on site 
we opened a new part of our hospital two years ago and uh, originally when the plans were going through nearly a third of that was planned for storing medical records which is a nonsense prime clinical space used for storing paper and because of our approach we've managed to take that out and use that space for clinical and patient uh, services which I think is a, a major plus so we've avoided cost in terms of capital and we also will be pulling down some old storage areas on our site so we've maximised the estate as well.